6 Lessons from Rich Dad, Poor Dad If this is your first time here, and you want to be financially free, you are on the right channel. This channel is loaded with powerful leadership, sales, managerial effectiveness, and business strategy that people can immediately apply to get better results in every area. Start now by subscribing and click on the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Financially speaking, Robert Kiyosaki is no doubt one of the best authors alive. In his best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, he explains his path to financial freedom and what he learned about money from studying the journey of his birth father and his best friend's father. The former was poor, and the latter was rich. The poor dad, biological father, a well-educated university professor who based, believes that the love of money is the root of all evil. He made money mistakes and was stuck in, rat race. On the other hand, rich dad, friend's father, lacked in academic qualifications, but he was a magnate and the one who taught him that the lack of money is the root of all evil. His father, poor dad, might have been a well-paid, stable professional, but never truly attained wealth, however, rich dad was wealthy. While studying their journeys, he realized that wealth depends more on your mentality than what you earn. He summarized that it is important to first change one's mindset about money because your thoughts lead to your actions. This book will understand cash flows, building assets, and what to learn from failures. I compiled some critical takeaways from Rich Dad, Poor Dad, to help you build wealth from this book. 1. Learn first. Robert Kiyosaki thinks people are, one skill away from great wealth. He outlines in Rich Dad, Poor Dad, the value of learning first instead of putting too much focus on the money. He advocates learning a little about a lot and makes use of the company experience and wealth to better yourself. Learn something about accounting, markets, investing, sales, marketing, leadership, speaking, and law by taking up work from companies. You should acquire these KAIF skills to help yourself on the path of financial freedom. Work to acquire skills, not to earn money. Most important things were learned outside the four walls of the classroom. Kiyosaki took a job with Xerox and ended up becoming one of the top salespeople in the company and, having gained what he wanted out of a job, left shortly after. Kiyosaki learned to get out of rat race by working free for his rich dad. He learned there how to handle fear and desire to make money work for him and his friend. He also got jobs as a construction worker, and busboy, all part of learning a little about a lot so that he could run his companies most effectively. 2. Let your money work for you. This is not a new idea. Everybody knows the pleasure that comes with sitting at home and getting passive income. The lower and middle classes work for money, while wealthy people have money work for them. People need to control two emotions, fear and desire. Money is an illusion, and fear drives many people out of their beds and goes to work every blessed day. Hope is why pay rises to entice us as we increasingly want expensive toys as we go on through life, from sweets to clothes and other worldly things. Kiyosaki stressed. To battle this, Rich Dad persuades the young boys, as they are at this point in the book, to stop thinking about wages and advise to study money and learn how it works, then work out how to make it, independent of a payback. Investing wisely is one of the ways to generate more income. 3. Be brave. Mostly, people don't win financially because the pain of losing money is far greater than the joy of being productive. Hardly did they know that failure inspires winners. Failure defeats losers. Brilliancy or academic excellency is not synonymous with financial success. While Kiyosaki's father had multiple qualifications, his best friend's dad didn't have a proper education. A degree won't make you wealthy if you don't have guts and an understanding of how money works too. Making money sometimes involves taking risks and dealing with a level of uncertainty. The only knowledge required here is to know when and how to choose the risks by being savvy and learning from your vast experience to assess the situation. Every wealthy person has lost money at some point, but many poor people have never lost a dime. Playing not to lose money means you will never make money. Robert took a risk with his first investment, and it was a small $18,000 condominium in Hawaii that fetched him $25 a month. Although he did not earn a lot from it, he became smart, and subsequently, he got smarter with every deal. Take a calculated risk as this will help you build not only wealth but also the experience needed to succeed. It isn't intelligent people who get ahead in the world. It's bold people. 4. Money management. Anyone can make money, but not everyone learns how to manage it properly. 
The ability to differentiate between assets and liabilities is the core financial intelligence many lack. According to Kiyosaki, financially successful people do one thing better, save money. They tend not to spend on luxuries until they can afford it. By increasing your savings and tracking your expenses, you can become aware of your spending patterns and ensure that you have more money coming in than going out, which will make you more productive. The author says assets are things that bring in money, and liabilities are things that take money out of your pocket. Earning more money will solve this financial problem. It could only serve to compound them if your outgoings increase exponentially too. Poor people's problem is not that they don't know how to make money, it's that they don't know how to manage money, what to do with the money once you make it, and how to keep it longer. And how to make that money work for you. 5. Don't be a slave to your emotions, control them. Kiyosaki highlights that human beings always give in to five traits, fear, cynicism, laziness, bad habits, and arrogance. The emotional part of our brain is almost always got more reliable than the rational part. Stopping for your sound mind to kick in is the wisest thing to do when you feel emotionally overwhelmed. Not only will it give you time to gather your thoughts, but you will also be waiting to act, which may keep you safe from saying or doing something you regret. Learn to channelize your emotional balance and be focused on accomplishing your financial goals. A well-trained mind is set to achieve a lot more than a fickle, short-sighted, and cynic thought. Do not let fear or opinion of anyone dictate your actions. 6. Be a financial literate. Ignorance is a significant cause of financial trouble, as it isn't taught in school. Our education system teaches students how to work for money and keep how to make, save, and manage cash out of the syllabus. We should, therefore, learn how to create wealth that is learning about advocacy for financial independence. Financial terms can be complicated and daunting, but you can develop financial intelligence by dedicating time to read about accounting and investing and keeping informed about the markets. The author believes financial literacy is the essential instruction that will help a person build robust financial intelligence. Money without financial knowledge is money soon gone. Intelligence solves problems and produces wealth, he emphasized. I hope you found the steps mentioned on how to be successful in life are useful? Thanks for watching it. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And let's know what you think in the comment below.